I am roughing in this laundry plumbing today. Whether you are building a new one or renovating an old one, this video is for you. Very basic configuration. Sink on the left, washer in the middle and dryer on the right side. Another thing I want to point out before we start is that there are two dry vents coming from the basement. I will be connecting them and penetrate one vent through the roof. I always start with drilling and make as many holes as possible before I start gluing. This technique is more efficient. You can also make holes as you go. There is nothing wrong with that. It just takes more time. But as the video progresses, you will see that I missed a hole and I had to pick up the drill again. Which is normal. By the way, I'm using 2916 self-feed bit on Milwaukee Superhog which makes the drilling process very easy. Now it's finally time to install pipes. I am using ABSL core pipes and fittings. At the time I'm posting this video, this house is finished. I water tested all drainage and vent pipes and passed all inspections. Anything I'm referring in this video is as per our local codes. So it might be different where you live. The middle hole in the wall plate is for drain line, for sink and washer. Sink drain is inch and half and washer drain is 2 inches. Left and right holes are for vents coming from downstairs. They are an inch and half. When serving the washer and sink drain is also an inch and half. The T that is installed on the drain line will be serving 2 inch washer trap. And one that I am installing right now will serve inch and half sink trap. I am installing line clean out between both T's. If we didn't have any vent coming from the basement, then pipe from the top of the sink arm T would have directly penetrated through the roof and our venting part would have been done. Since we have two vents coming from downstairs, I am going to connect top of the sink arm T to these vents and penetrate one vent through the roof. There is going to be a countertop on top of the washer and dryer. Pairing with one piece granite backsplash. The homeowner doesn't want the laundry box to be visible. So I am installing washer drain pipe in a way that the laundry box will stay under the countertop behind washer and dryer. For my water lines, I will install additional accessible shutter wells under the sink cabinet so that in case of an emergency they can shut off the water to washer from the sink cabinet. If you want to install the laundry box above the countertop, that is totally up to you. Another thing I want to point out before we end this video is that the minimum length 4 inch and half trap arm is twice the pipe diameter, which is 3 inches and maximum is 5 feet 11 inches. And for 2 inch trap arm, Minimum is also twice the pipe diameter, which is 4 inches, and maximum is 7 feet 11 inches. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.